So yes, as you can see in the title of this video, I did run into some issues with the transmission with this BMW Z4, but it's not as bad as it seems. It actually isn't very bad at all, but the part is actually really expensive. Oh, oh hell no! <laughs> and I haven't heard of anybody else running into this issue or it being known as like a common issue with these cars. I was just driving down the road and nothing really too extreme or anything crazy like that, but all of a sudden the car wouldn't let me shift and it just felt really weird uh, just not being able to shift up or down. And it didn't take long to realize, maybe a couple seconds or so, but the paddle shifter itself was super loose and it was kind of telling the transmission to shift, but it was sticking. So because of that, it wasn't letting me shift with the other paddle or the center shifter. What we're gonna do today is kind of fix that issue for right now before I can find a replacement part. All I'm gonna really do is just disconnect that paddle so it is the right one. And the reason that I'm gonna disconnect the paddle is so it isn't constantly moving on me whenever I'm moving the steering wheel and causing that kind of the paddle to make contact and telling the car to shift when it's not supposed to. And that way I can still use this car in manual mode. And also I think even if I had it in regular drive mode without um, having it in that manual shift position, I think it would still try to even shift for me regardless. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do that today. And you're, you're kind of gonna get a view of those paddles and where they connect. So if you run into that issue, you can go ahead and disconnect them for the time being until you get that replacement paddle. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery in the back. So I'm just gonna grab my impact here and use a 10 millimeter socket to just unplug the negative terminal. And that way, so when we take off the airbag, there are no bigger issues or the airbag doesn't deploy or something crazy like that. And <coughs> Holy. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that here quick. All right, we should be good with that. I'll take my light here. Here you can see the paddles, one on the left and one on the right. And so to explain this to you guys a little bit, because I was a little confused on this as well, because uh, there are different models of BMWs that have different paddles. For this one, uh, for the Z4 E89, they're known as the SSG or push-pull paddles because you're able to downshift and upshift with each paddle, whereas there are other BMWs that you have to use the left uh, paddle to... Uh, I believe it's downshift and then the right, right paddle to shift up, which is really weird. I actually really prefer these, but as I'm going to show you guys, I think the problem of where these wore down really quickly is because you have to kind of click it at a certain angle or else you're causing extra stress on the paddle. But I'll show you the issue with the right one right now. So we're kind of at an angle here and I had this taped up because luckily I had tape with me, but as you can see, it's super, super loose. And every time I would move the steering wheel, it would easily move and try to shift the car or keep it stuck at a certain uh, gear. So what you're meant to do is press it to downshift and then kind of uh, pull it back here and press it towards you to upshift. And the issue is, is that you can actually cause extra stress by pushing it in further through here or over here. You want to kind of get towards the outer side of it to uh, downshift so that you're not causing that extra stress. Uh, so I think that's what I did. And over time, it just kind of wore it out. But regardless, right now we're going to disconnect it uh, so it's not an issue anymore. And to do that, we're going to have to remove the airbag. And uh, as you know, or if any of you are familiar with BMWs, there are two little holes on each side of the steering wheel that we'll have to poke in order to kind of unlock the airbag and take it out. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and grab an Allen key. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do this with a Allen key, one of these kinds, and it's a three millimeter. I think it'll be easier to poke that with this, but I'm gonna grab the key here and try to get the left side first. And you can see there is the little indent for you to poke. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If So that one, I just got it and I felt it. Uh, so it's gonna be really hard to show you guys the other one, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, so on the Z4, it's kind of a pain in the ass. It's not like uh, other BMWs. You can see my screwdriver in there in the hole. And it's going straight up. So what you're going to want to do is once you're straight up, is just really angle it really hard. Same with this other side. Once you get it up there, angle it and then turn the uh, screwdriver counterclockwise over here it's clockwise and you'll hear the airbag click and that's how it comes loose so it, so be careful because it's still plugged in and everything but hang on a second let me get this airbag either sitting somewhere where i can really show you guys or uh, i might end up disconnecting it okay so i ended up unplugging the airbag just from this little clip right here and just to show you guys there's the connector so all I really did was press on the top of that connector right here and then just disconnect it so what we can see here is where the paddles connect and that's right there and that one seems pretty easy, but I'm not having any issues with that paddle. I'm having issues with the one over here, which is hidden. If I can show you guys here. Yeah, there it is. So that's not fun, but I think I can get in there and disconnect that paddle. So these bolts right here are what hold the paddles. And then the wiring is just kind of fed through here and tucked along the top of the steering wheel so that you get both paddles on each side. Uh, so that is how you can replace them, but I don't have my replacement quite yet. So what I'm going to do is all I'm going to really do is unplug the right paddle shifter so that way that doesn't affect my drivability anymore for the time being. And I'm just going to do that until I get the replacement right paddle. And then kind of to show you guys a little bit more in here, for those of you who want to see how the airbag unlocking procedure works, you can see that, God, this lighting is terrible, but we will make it work. There's the hole of where the screwdriver goes into or whatever you choose to use. So you can see right there that I'm poking it through. How'd that get in there? <laughs> and then it goes up to here and that's how you move the screwdriver in order to unlock the airbag. And same with this side, screwdriver goes up the bottom. Oh, that's be careful on that but so hopefully that also gives you guys a good look of how to unlock the airbag uh maybe even though that this isn't the main purpose of this video that's really good to know because other steering wheels are different for bmws there's other ones where you're just pushing you're not really you're not really turning the screwdriver to unlock an airbag so it's good to know for the Z4, but I'm going to start working on unplugging this paddle. Okay, so there we go, guys. All I really did was connect that connector that I had previously disconnected and then just align the airbag with the steering wheel and just pushed it in and uh, made sure that it clicked on both sides. So now that it is all secure and that paddle shifter is disconnected. So, so that's that. And hopefully that helps you guys for any of you that daily drive your car and have this paddle shifter transmission combo so that you can still drive your car 
and it doesn't really put you out of the count completely. I'm going to wait for that new part to arrive so that I can also have my paddles. But in the meantime, I'm going to use the center shifter when I have the car in manual mode so I can still run it that way. But that does this temporary fix for now. So pretty simple video for today and that's going to do it. So hopefully you guys find this useful. Regardless, if you have the Z4 E89 and are looking into on how to unhook the airbag or you just run into issues with your paddle shifters. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.